Welcome to Kitu and Academy. In this video, our expert will guide you through the process of creating and managing schedule integration in Oracle Integration 3. Schedule integrations are crucial for automating tasks that need to run at specific time or interval, such as bulk data processing or file integrations. Our step-by-step -step tutorial will help you to understand the intricacies of setting up these integrations, ensuring that your tasks run seamlessly without manual intervention. In this video, we will guide you through the complete process of refining and schedule for an integration in various process. You will also learn how to use observability to check the future runs at integration and track activities of your integrations. Stay tuned until the end because we have an exciting surprise for you related to Oracle Integration 3. Don't miss out on valuable information and let's get started on making your integrations more efficient and automated. I will take you to my integration screen and when you click on a create button from the integration you will see a pattern called schedule it says runs at a specific dates and times defined in a schedule used for bulk integration or file processing so once you pick up that pattern it will ask for the name like it asks for the application based integration so you can give a name let's say schedule integration you can give any name, okay? Identifier, version, and let's say create. So your integration, scheduled integration will be created. But you will see a difference here. The difference between scheduled and app driven is when you create a scheduled integration, you will see the start point is defined as scheduled automatically. You meaning you don't need to define your starting point. The starting point is, is, is your schedule. Whatever frequency you will set, it will run automatically. Meaning you don't need to define a start point. So every schedule run, every schedule integration run asynchronously. Meaning it will not produce any response. All runs asynchronously. So your schedule integration is defined. So for now, I will use a action called logger. So I will drop a logger action on this point and will define a some some log message. It is just it is just like logging some message into your activity stream. It can be a dynamic message. It can be a static message. Let's say I am in logger, okay, and then come outside. So here, whatever actions you would like to drop, whatever invoke you would like to use, you can do this. Okay. But I will stick on this simple one and will create one complex integration later. So here I will define the business identifier. And here you will see when you define a scheduled integration, it will have a start time in the sources this start time defines tells you when the integration is started at what time my integration is completed now what should i do i simply close this integration and like i i activated other integrations i can activate this integration as well and while you activate this integration the schedule integration it also says edit add schedule for this integration now but if you uncheck this that's fine you can add schedules later also let me simply activate this integration so schedules integrations are activated that's fine how do i test that integration so testing is simple you click here and click on a run click on run so when you click on a run, it will open another window and then you simply say run. And your schedule indication will run on an ad hoc basis. So it will show the activity stream and here you can see logger has been executed. I am in logger and your integration is completed successfully. That's fine. My integration is working fine. Now 
I can test it multiple times. I can update it. I can activate it and then I can test it. Let's suppose my schedule integration is completed and now I would like to put this integration to the production and then I want to define frequency to this integration. So to define the frequency, you have to click on these three dots and click on add the schedule option. The second option from the top, let's say add schedule. So when you click on the add schedule, you will reach on this window where you have three things. One is recurrence. Second is schedule runs. Okay. Two sections basically recurrence and this schedule runs. Under recurrence, we have two options simple and IQL. When you choose simple, which is default option, it will have a drop down called frequency. There you can set the frequency, let's say hours and minutes. You can define one hour. You can say 30 minutes, which means I wanted to schedule, I wanted to set the frequency of this integration to run every one hour 30 minutes. Or you can simply say 0 30 minutes. But for an optimal performance, the minimum is 30. You cannot set 0 9. And when you will try to save, it will give you an error. Minimum is 10. You can have a days options also. You can say 1 day, 2 day, 3 days. And then you can define at particular day. Let's say. I wanted to run Monday and Wednesday and Friday. I wanted to run only three days. You can also day of every month. Let's say I wanted to run only first and then last day of every month. So you can define this as well. You can define frequency in weeks also. You can remove this and you can define in in months, let's say first month or second month. But first month also, you can say in the first month, I wanted to run, let's say in the first month only on Monday. Similarly, you can say months also. Sorry, month of the year, let's say January first month okay in january first week sorry and in the first week only monday so you can define that permutation combination okay and then that is the frequency that you can set the second option is the schedule runs so this is schedule run tells you at what time you should start your scheduling so you can define the schedule runs let's say i wanted to start this integration from 23rd at whatever time you wanted to set let's say 8 or let's say 17 okay done so i wanted to define the frequency to run this at 20, from 23rd to 20, from 23rd 5 pm and there you can also define your time zone. Uh, there was a one more option like expiry date. I don't know if this has been removed or not in this version. Okay, 23.08. Hmm. Earlier, there was one more option expiry date. I don't know if this has been removed. I will have to check, but that's fine. Okay, let's suppose this frequency is not helping me to define my frequency. I may have a requirement to run my integration four times on a daily basis. But I will set the time as per my requirement. Let's say morning 8 a.m. 9 p.m. Sorry, 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. Similarly, in the evening 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. So I want to define my frequency as per my requirement. So if you have similar this kind of requirement, you cannot use that simple. Simple is very basic where you can say, hey, I wanted to run this integration every hour. 
if you define every hour then it will run every hour there may be a possibility like you wanted to run only four times in a day 8 am 9 am 8 pm 9 pm that you cannot control from here if you have set frequency every hour it will run every hour but you can control using that second option called iCal. iCal is like a custom expression where you can write some syntax which is called iCal syntax and you define your timings here so here let's say schedule integration in oic and there you can copy some iCal expression from here let me copy this and put it here so here you can see and all are standard keywords by the way frequency daily i wanted to run this integration on a daily basis by r meaning 5 pm 70 meaning 5 by minute 30 40 50 meaning i wanted to run this integration on a daily basis at 5 30 5 40 5 50 so there you are defining your time similarly you can have one more expression like this where you can say m and percent and let's say 0 5 early in the morning 5 30 5 40 and 5 50. so you can keep adding more and more expression that shows you your integration will run six times in a day three frequency set in the morning and three more frequencies set for the evening after it is done you have to validate your expression and if it is validated it will say iCal expression is valid and after that you can oh, okay so here you see until oh i guess it is not no oh, okay oh it is there why was it was not showing earlier maybe we have not clicked on save but that's fine here you see until you can define expiry date let's say i wanted to run this integration by the end of this year so you can define expiry time and save so your integration will start let's say from from tomorrow oh, what happened from tomorrow this timing and save now using that you just set the frequency and close now your frequency is set and you can set your frequency from here and you see frequency daily by are this and then second expression is this okay and it will start from 23rd and will end by 31st okay this is stopped now what do you want you want to start this schedule when you click on a start it will ask our username so it will take the logged in username by default but why it is asking for the username the reason is let's suppose i as a I as a uh, uh, employee creates an integration and schedule but after a few months down the line I leave my organization and accordingly my his user will be deactivated so if I have selected my user so what will happen if my user will be de deactivated this integration will start failing because this user has been deactivated so ideally when you are starting your schedule make sure you are creating you have created some generic id in your domain and pick up that generic id from here because generic id will remain there in the system okay and let's say start your schedule and your schedule has been started which you can see from here running and then it will show you the future instances of next 24 hours you can see tomorrow at 5 30 am ist 5 40 5 50 5 30 5 40 5 50 pm ist 
if you wanted to see more future runs you can click here and then you can see for next two days i wanted to see all my frequency now your integration is running and it will run as per the defined frequency it will run six times in a day if you want to stop the schedule you can simply stop confirm it is stopped and then again you can start okay so you can close and then you come back and now your the frequency is defined so i will show you one thing i will show you one calendar so if you go go to the observability under that we have one section one navigation called future run so this future runs is the calendar for your schedules integration so you may have five schedule integration if you wanted to see all your schedule runs you can go to this future runs and then you can monitor you see i only have one schedule that that is here for today there is no entry but if you see for month you see 23rd to 31st okay plus 5 it says plus 5 meaning total 6 so 23rd it will have 6 24th it will have 6 and if you click here then it will show you the five all six occurrences you can see three of six you can see all the occurrences here so it shows you at what time that integration will run okay so that is the calendar of your schedule integrations thank you so much for staying with us till the end of the video now all you have to do is just click the link in the description below or if you are just starting out just type k21academy.com/oic02 and you will be redirected to this page now enter your name enter your email id enter phone number and click on register now and you will be redirected to this page also you can add the session to your google calendar or apple calendar and i promise this is something that you don't want to miss so go ahead click on the link and step into the world where learning knows no boundaries till then keep enjoying i'll see you in the next video